congratulations on being inducted to the California Wrestling Hall of Fame. Thank you. Thank you. Appreciate uh -huh. it. You had a great career as an athlete, and you, yeah. you've done some coaching as well, and now uh -huh. you're into mixed martial arts. Yeah. Uh, what individual had the greatest influence on you to get you involved in the sport of wrestling? Um, the head coach of the Vallejo High Apaches, uh, he um, saw me at a young age. I basically was befriended by a lot of wrestlers, and um, they were all smaller than me, and mm -hmm. I was the biggest one in the crowd and the youngest one, mm -hmm. and they all wrestled. Okay. So, so then they brought me in, and they said, you know, hey, did you get into the sport of wrestling? And, and uh, Mike Minahan, who was, mm -hmm. who was the head coach at the time, said, you know, wrestling is going to improve your football because I told him I was a football player. And uh, he pretty much sold me there. And the first day of practice was at, was at Solano Junior High School okay. in Vallejo, California. And uh, went out um, and uh, tried, to, tried to hit a double leg, the first thing that I learned. And, and the rest is history. And mm -hmm. I ended up liking it, ended up uh, liking the guys I was hanging out with. And ended up wrestling for the duration of my high school career. Yeah, and beyond. <laughs> and beyond, that's right. Uh, who was your idol growing up? Once you got involved in the sport and you, uh, you started learning more about it, is there anyone that you looked up to? Yeah, you know, I, um, you know, being, being that I'm from Vallejo, California, there's, you know, is basically all major sports that that a lot of people paid attention to. So, mm -hmm. you know, with wrestling, I didn't really have anybody to look up to as far as wrestling except for my wrestling coaches. Mm -hmm. And those were the guys that were very instrumental in in my development as a as a wrestler and as an athlete. And so I I idolized them for their knowledge and mm -hmm. for their for their just their their knowledge um, and for everything that they actually put into the sport I, I you know, I actually put them on a pedestal and, mm -hmm. and really respected them and, and did everything they said. So, um, and uh, later on, um, I started to, you know, look at different wrestlers and, and saw uh, John Smith right. and um, end up liking his style and I kind of emulated his style and mm -hmm. he became another one of, um, of my heroes, so to speak in the sport and later became my coach. Yeah, so I know that was a great deal for you. Yeah, it was, it was later awesome. Later you got to coach with him as well. I, I did, I did. Uh, what attribute uh, of your character, Mark, uh, allowed you to be so successful in wrestling? I believe, um, I believe it's perseverance. Um, because without perseverance, I think, um, in the sport of wrestling, mm -hmm. you can't be successful. And in that word perseverance, there comes a number of a number of other characteristics involved, um, which is uh, desire, dedication, uh, commitment, um, uh, discipline. You know, along with that one word in perseverance. So, um, so I believe in order to to become the best person or wrestler that you can be, I think you have to have perseverance in order to do so. I agree, and I think what you said is probably important to younger viewers that may be exactly. watching this interview because they look exactly. at the success you had and said, what, what did he have to persevere? Everything went well. Actually, <laughs> uh, exactly. What's the most outstanding memory you have? Most outstanding memory I had was uh, winning my first state title mm -hmm. <laughs> um, because it was a big deal for, for our high school because nobody... Ever, Were you the first? I was the first. Uh -huh. I was the first in our, at our high school to win the state mm -hmm. championship in anything, um, and uh, to do that was just was amazing, mm -hmm. and um, that's that's one thing that actually really stuck out to me yeah. was my first state championship. Yeah, I bet that's uh, it's so interesting when you talk to folks that have yeah you know been on world teams and Olympic teams. Mm -hmm. It all comes back down to high school. <laughs> yeah, it and does. Why don't yep. you go ahead and fix your phone? It's probably some of your MMA fans are <laughs> on Twitter account or something. Yeah, I actually, I actually put it on <laughs> silent, so... Okay, good. You're good. <laughs> yeah. Uh, why did... Uh, as a wrestler, is there one particular match other than, you know, a great experience winning the state championship? Is there one match that you wrestled that sticks in your mind that uh, you'll never forget? I would have to say that the one match was from the time I got injured 
my sophomore year. Um, Is that at Oklahoma State? No, no, no. My high sophomore school. year in high school. Mm-hmm. And came back my first match. Um, and there was a there was a tournament in um, uh, Granada Hills High School. And I was wrestling in that tournament, being a junior and coming back fresh from my injury, which was a very debilitating injury. Um, mm. I shattered all the bones in my lower leg and in my ankle and couldn't play football anymore and had to concentrate on wrestling and um, de- devoted my whole, uh, my whole time and, and everything to the sport of wrestling after that. And, and that match was pivotal because I, I thought to myself, if, you know, this is, I think this is what I'm gonna do, mm-hmm. you know, from here on out is, is wrestle. Mm-hmm. And um, because I had my focus on football and then that match was actually pivotal and guided me along my wrestling journey. Mm-hmm. And so I think that was just, that was the match that put me out there and, and really, I thought to myself, Wrestling is the way for me. Yeah. 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 Mark, you started coaching. I know that you coached at Oklahoma State and uh-huh. UC Davis, and now you have your own club down in Southern California. What yeah. made you get involved in that? I just fell in the sport of wrestling. I fell in love with the sport of wrestling and everything about the sport. It it just it it intrigues me, you know. Just with the the you know I call it the five Ds: the desire direction, diligence, discipline, and dedication it takes to be able to be involved in the sport and, you know, and also persevere amongst, you know, those, those attributes. I think it's just, it's an amazing sport that parallels life. Mm. And there's so many, there's so many life lessons I learned, not only, not only from, from the sport of wrestling, but you know, I've gone through in life and been able to rise above those adversities because of the sport of wrestling. Mm. So I look back and I, and I think, you know, those experiences that I experienced are just amazing because it shaped and molded me into the person right. I am today. And I'm continually getting molded every day because of the experiences I had in wrestling. So, um, so yeah, I just, it's, it's an amazing sport. I love it so much. Yeah really is yeah and that kind of segues into the next question would be uh if, if you were to do it over again you know starting as a competitor and all the way through your competitive career would, would you do anything differently than than uh, the uh, path you pursued no you know um i believe that you everyone has their their paths um mm-hmm. that they have in their life and they're going to follow those paths and i think um, no matter what type of adversity or or trial or tribulation that you've been approached, um, you got to find a way to rise above it. Mm-hmm. And um, for me, the path for me was wrestling. Mm-hmm. And um, like I said, it's 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 actually shaped and molded me into the person I am today. And I will never look back and think, oh, I could have had a better life, right. you know, or a better career doing something else because. Mm-hmm. The sport of wrestling is, is, is who I am, you know, Absolutely. and and it's and it's what I do, mm-hmm. and it's what I love, so, and I'll always cherish the sport. Uh, it's, it may seem like a strange question. Usually in Hall of Fames, guys are older. You're still a, yeah. a fairly young guy. But yeah. At this stage of your life, what what yeah. would you like people to remember about Mark Munoz? Um, you know, I've always wanted to be known as the guy that always poured his heart and his soul in, in everything that I did. And um, I want people to know that, that, you know, if you really want something, it's worth fighting for. Mm-hmm. And it's worth working hard for. And um, focusing and devoting all your time and attention to it. And, um, and that's what I did. Um, and with the sport of wrestling, I, I've always wanted to be, um, you know, no matter what I did, I, I wanted to be the best that I can be mm. in in that arena that I was in. And, um, you know, I want people to know that I was diligent. 
you know, that I was disciplined, that I was dedicated, that I had a desire to be the best. And um, I, I had a direction to, to do everything, you know, mm -hmm. and, and I just, you know, I want people to know that. You know, I want people to know that I was, you know, um, just uh, hardworking and, uh, and, never, and, and never regretted anything that happened in his life, so. That's so that's always a great thing that uh, yeah. someone could say. Yeah, exactly, exactly. Well, so. Once again, congratulations, Mark. Thank you. Being inducted into the California Wrestling Hall of Fame. Thank you, I appreciate it.